If you've ever wondered why your buddy Bob can do a planche like he was born doing it while you're still struggling to hold a tuck planche position after a year of sweat, tears, and too many face plants, well, this video's gonna be your golden ticket. And hey, before you accuse me of being genetically gifted, let me just tell you, the only thing my genes blessed me with is a love for donuts and a rather amusing inability to dance. So, stick around if you want to figure out why your DNA might be the secret culprit behind your calisthenics progress, or, you know, lack thereof. Alright, let's start by exploring calisthenics' intriguing genetics muscle hypertrophy relationship. Our genes play a major part in this game. Further evidence of this was found in 2019 when the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research revealed a shocking discovery. Genetics account for 50 to 80% of resistance training induced muscle growth. Yeah, you heard that right. Biceps that make the Hulk green with envy depend largely on your genes. Of course, strength is not the only area of calisthenics where genetics play a role. An intriguing 2010 Nature Neuroscience study found BDNF, VAL66 met polymorphism, affects motor learning and skill building. This genetic component tells your body how slowly or quickly you're going to master those difficult calisthenics techniques. So, you know, don't worry if your training partner seems to advance quickly while you're still working on your push-ups. Just blame it on your genes! Okay, come on, not, not entirely. But they do have a significant say in the matter. Oh, and uh, the next time you see someone doing a perfect planche or handstand, just consider their genetics and workout background. Advanced calisthenics elements like the front lever can take up to one year of hard training on average. Now, the time frame for learning a calisthenics skill depends on your genetics and your fitness background. Okay, more to the point, the role of genetics and endurance capabilities and metabolic efficiency is absolutely well documented in scientific literature. The Journal of Applied Physiology in 2010 published a study that found a positive association between certain gene variants in the PPAR-GC1A and the TFAM genes and endurance performance. Such genetic predispositions can be particularly beneficial during long, intensive calisthenic sessions. Another study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2012 notes that variations in the FTO gene could also affect metabolic efficiency and influence your energy use during workouts. The metabolic efficiency can increase your ability to maintain form and reduce fatigue during rigorous calisthenics routines. So yeah, you could say genetics are the unsung directors of your fitness narrative. In fact, another study in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research in 2019 brought this role into sharp focus. The researchers discovered that genetic factors accounted for a staggering 50 to 80% of the variance in muscle size changes resulting from resistance training. This would imply that your genetics might be the star player in determining your muscle growth and even your potential success in calisthenics. Now, understanding the role of genetics doesn't give license to place all blame for fitness hurdles on your genes. The remaining 20 to 50% of muscle growth variance is influenced by your diet, training consistency, and even your mental determination. So the focus here is to maximize your potential by understanding your genetic predispositions and shaping your training around them. If strength-demanding moves like the planche seem elusive, your genes might be pointing you towards a hypertrophy-focused training regimen. Amplifying muscle mass could lead to significant progress in these more demanding calisthenics maneuvers. In contrast, if you excel in high-repetition bodyweight exercises or skills-based movements, your genes could be indicating a natural affinity for endurance or coordination-based training. See, the secret lies in aligning your training with your genetic strengths, a theory supported by a 2021 study that was published in the International Journal of Sports Medicine. This research found that athletes who adjusted their training to their genetic strengths and weaknesses achieved significantly better outcomes than their counterparts who did not. Guys, just consider that your genes, in essence, provide a personalized blueprint for your optimal calisthenics training. Yes, challenges may arise, dictated by your genetic predispositions, but guys, these same genes also illuminate your unique strengths. 
In fact, multiple studies across diverse aspects of calisthenics, from muscle development to skill acquisition, endurance, and metabolic efficiency, demonstrate the powerful influence of genetics on your fitness journey. Understanding these genetic influences can help calisthenics practitioners develop a more personalized and effective training program, modulating their workouts based on their genetic advantages or challenges. And remember, if you want to have a professionally structured step-by-step -step workout and nutrition program, you can visit our website by clicking the first link in the description of this video. As always, stay strong.